I started this business six years ago with under $1,000 to my name. Six years later, we're on pace to do $1.1 million in sales. Over time, ASF Clean Team has been growing 30 to 40 percent, and our best year is 1.5 million. The idea was to stand out, bright blue bow tie or yellow bow tie, button up shirt, pants, the socks, everything is really about color and it pops. If you look back and seeing where you came from and all the hardships and challenges that you had, you're like, wow, I really made it. Wait, wait, I did A, B, C, four and five. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do that again? If you're looking to start a window cleaning business, there are five things that you need to get. One of those is going to be a business license. Two is going to be some general liability insurance. Three, you're gonna to wanna to use a CRM just like Jobber. Four, you're gonna need a vehicle to actually get to and from jobs. And five, you're gonna need some basic window cleaning equipment. Whoa, that thing's fast. All right, so here's our basic rundown of our equipment. So we got this bucket belt and an applicator. We got a squeegee. And then we even have a foldable, collapsible pole. You can also use it as like a, a lightsaber if you want. <laughs> Moving over to the left, I got my cloth bag over here. I always try to keep four towels in here, two normal ones, and then two microfibers for any little bits that are left on the window after I'm done cleaning. In this front pocket, I like to keep a Brillo pad in case I need to apply any extra little bits of pressure or anything to get some dirt off. And then I also keep a six inch squeegee blade in case there's any tiny French pane windows that I need to clean as well. We have these portable buckets here and they're completely made of rubber. We can fill this up with water about two thirds of the way full inside. And then even if it's a tap that's really shallow, we can even like bend it to get more water underneath just so we can get in and out as quickly and efficiently as possible. And then um, we can just set it down and, and start cleaning. This is our Tucker Pure Water System. What's really cool about this machine is water goes through two different levels of filtration. One of those is a reverse osmosis process as well as a deionation of water. We have a couple pumps on here so we can adjust the flow that our water-fed pole is emitting. I don't want to spray you guys, so do you guys mind moving? And we've got two reels as well with 200 feet so that we can reach the back of the house with these awesome water-fed poles. These poles are amazing for reaching hard to get to windows. If there's difficult access or it might be a safety concern to use a ladder, that's when this water-fed pole comes into play to keep our technicians cleaning windows safely from the ground. We also have a harness in here and a rope in case we have any solar panels or tricky skylights to get to. It's really nice to be able to tie off to that roof and make sure that our technicians are gonna be safe up on a client's roof. All right, we're here at Karma Tattoo. I'm here with Kate. Hi. I'm gonna teach you really quickly how to clean a window. First step to cleaning a window, you're gonna to wanna to get some window cleaning solution onto your applicator mop, and then we are going to evenly coat this window with our solution. Next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe a corner of the window and give myself a place to start with the squeegee. Now, we're going to place that squeegee upside down on the window, come up to the very top corner, come across, come back down, and you're gonna see there's a lot of solution left in the middle, and now we're gonna start chopping down the mountain. So I'm just making these nice arches over the solution, being careful not to leave any streaks, and keeping the squeegee on the glass at all times. The squeegee does not come off the glass until I'm actually done Cleaning the window just like that. All right, your turn. <laughs> Fast, you got it. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nice. All right, not bad, not bad. Not bad, but let's try. I guess the key points is just making sure that you don't rush, like a kitchen window, for example, that's the most dirty window in the house. And clients always look out of that kitchen window. So if you skipped a couple of things, the client would know, 
because everything else is clean, but there's those two dots. This is a misconception I myself had when I first started, that it is easy. Okay, as you guys can see, this is a pretty tricky job, and the reason why it kind of is a little difficult is because of these interior bars. Of course, the business owners want this for protection, but it makes our jobs a nightmare. But that's why we have this little guy, the six inch squeegee. As you can see, it'll fit right in between here. It allows you to squeegee that. As I started to really delve in full time, I realized that it's a lot more difficult than I anticipated. And really the, the main reason for that is scaling because you need really good people and you need great systems. When we were just starting out, everything was just so unknown. It was just, you know, taking those baby steps into doing something that you just didn't know what was going to happen and just taking a leap of faith. The best part of owning my own business, I think at the beginning for me, was that time and money. And I think now it's more evolved into the impact that I can make into my employees' lives and the community that we're in.